So at this point, you're ready to retarget this animation onto your custom character. But, now this is optional, I like to take my transform and bake that onto the actual animation track. So at the moment, you've got an FBX animation and you've got a transform. And if I turn off the transform, you'll see what's happening to the animation. So he's running on the spot. Because this animation started as a loop and we had to add a transform and we were animating him along, when he comes to a stop and the simulation starts, that's done relative to his root position. And so you've basically got a counter animation. So if I turn this back on, you've got both of them and you don't notice it when you're actually playing it. So, you know, again, it's optional, but I don't like to have the two things going. So what I like to do is combine the two together. And all we have to do is select our character, right mouse button, and then we say bake animation sequence calling it a a a a bakey and then hit OK and then it comes up with some options and the important one is to enable record in world space so that is off by default so we hit OK on that one and then we hit export to animation sequence press OK and there it's done it so it's very quick so now we can delete all of this animation because it's all combined into one so I'm going to stop this go to my first frame delete my transform, delete my control rig, delete my skeletal animation, and then hit plus animation, and then we go to bakey. So you can see that he's really small and far away, and that's because he's got a transform still on him in the outliner, so we basically need to reset that. So we just hit reset, and now he's back to his position. Look at that, nice and clean, love that. So now we're ready to take this animation and retarget it onto our custom character.